Well, now I'm gonna show you four ways to beat the Obamacare bottleneck. <laughs> you know, they're having troubles on the website with all the, you know, people trying to register and everything. But, you know, there's ways around all this. It varies by state. I mean, they're signing up tens of thousands of people already. And, and actually, I was hearing that uh, when, um, uh, Massachusetts started they only did like a hundred people or something like that in the first couple of weeks yeah so anyway here's ways around the bottleneck first call the 800 number if you can't get on a line or whatever the, the, every state has an 800 number you call so you go to local help dot healthcare dot gov okay local help dot healthcare dot gov you put in your zip code okay and then you'll get to the local exchange for you and then you just call them if you can't get on <laughs> remember phones we've used them a long time now okay and actually what they will do they could do it over the phone or uh help you right there i mean i was helping a, uh, my chinese teacher you know and they even got somebody to speak Chinese for her yeah, on the phone to help her with the application. Okay, the next thing you could do, number two, is depending on state whether you're in, but like I know here in Maryland, they have local navigator offices. You know, these are walk-in places, like a real store. <laughs> you go in and you order your health care. Okay, how do you find out where it is? Okay, because we have three right in our county here. So you go to localhealth.healthcare.gov again, put in your zip code, find your local exchange, and that 800 number will give you, you know, where they are in your area okay <laughs> so you walk in you find out the times where they are and you get walked in so if you really want your health insurance now you're not going to wait any longer <laughs> that's another way to do it okay another way to do it is find out uh what other organizations like that are in town to help you is call 211 211 is a local hotline for nonprofit organization, government services. It's usually run by the United Way or someone like that that has operators all the time to help you. So, hey, I'm trying to sign up for care, can't get online. What do we got in the area here? And they could help you. Okay, now, another way is wait. And they're going to fix this thing. <laughs> they have to. It's the law. You know, and people are fighting it and trying to make all kinds of stuff out of this. But it's going to happen. You know, and, and actually, it doesn't. You can't get coverage till January 1 anyway. So that's months away. So you wait another week or so. What the heck? You know, what did you do for the last 10 years before you got cheap health insurance? Yeah, <laughs> you paid for it. So you wait till January. And you still have till March 31st to sign up of next year, March 31st, that's a long time. And they're probably gonna extend it because of all the screw-ups, you know, they're having with uh, uh, online stuff. You know, and, and waiting, you know, I mean, it, it is, this is gonna happen. I mean, I was just reading the paper today where the big health insurance companies, okay, these are the people who are gonna benefit the most from Obamacare, not you and I, because we're getting, cheaper uh, health insurance or whatever and, and the insurance companies can't mess us over anymore on pre-existing conditions and stuff like that but see the government is going to give you and me money to go to the insurance companies to buy it so they're getting the biggest bonanza of all out of this thing it's the health insurance companies and actually it, show, it proves this here in the last 12 months in the anticipation of bombing care their stock prices for the health insurance companies went up 32 percent so see now they're <laughs> they're expecting they're going to make a lot of money on this stuff because the government's going to give us money to buy their product man i wish i was in a business like that <laughs> somebody give you money to buy my product now wouldn't that be neat now here's some quotes too from uh, um executives of health insurance companies this is the head of etna his name is mark uh Bertolo, bertolini <laughs> okay he said we continue to believe that public health exchanges can represent a long-term upside opportunity. So they're looking to make money on this stuff. See, and also the guy who is ahead of uh, Cigna Health Insurance, he said he expects a 10, 13% increase in their earnings per share over the next three to five years. And it seems, uh, you know, a given in America when the rich folks are making money out of something, man, it's hard as heck to change it. So <laughs> this is the game that's going to be around for a while. So you might as well use it because it's good for you too.